Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and for the second time in the same day, Donald Trump has gotten fantastic news from the courts. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. You know, once you get outside of New York City, Donald Trump has pretty good luck with the courts, really. He's been having a pretty good run with the courts. Why? Because it's not New York City. So earlier in the day, the Fulton County case brought by Fannie Willis was put on ice by an appeals court in, 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 in Georgia, and they said that that case is frozen indefinitely until they decide if Fannie Willis is off the case or not. Fast forward. Let's go to the case in Florida, Judge Eileen Cannon. She's pretty much put that case on ice because of, well, <laughs> it's interesting they're, they're prosecuting Trump for mishandling the classified paperwork, and then Jack Smith and his team mishandled the classified paperwork. So that's why that case is on hold. Then you go to CNN and you watch liberal legal commentator Jeffrey Tubin basically lose his mind because the case has been put on hold, accusing this judge of all kinds of wrongdoing and favoring Trump. These people were silent when there was obvious and blatant bias in three New York cases. But you get a judge who does the, their job by the law, and suddenly that's bias in favor of Trump because Judge uh, Trump appointed this judge. Let's take a look at this CNN analyst losing his mind about this case, and then let me know what you think in the comments. How unusual is this for Judge Cannon to, first of all, let's talk about the, the allowing third parties in. This whole way she has conducted this case is wildly, totally, crazily unusual. And the allowing of uh, outsiders to participate in a day and a half uh, hearing that most judges would decide on briefs or maybe give 10 minutes aside to argue is just another illustration that she is trying to kill this prosecution. That's the only conclusion you can draw. No other judge in the federal system that I'm aware of would treat these issues anything like what she's trying to do. 